Priti Patel had two further unauthorized meetings with Israeli political figures, a revelation that will increase pressure on the Prime Minister to sack her. It is understood Ms Patel met Israel's Public Security Minister Gilad Erdogan in Parliament on 7 September and Foreign Ministry official Yuval Rotem in New York on 18 September. Theresa May was reportedly told about the New York meeting on Monday but only learned about the meeting with Mr Erdogan on Tuesday. Posting on Twitter at the time of the meeting, Mr. Erdogan revealed the pair discussed how to to advance UK Israel development cooperation and counter attempts to delegitimize Israel in international institutions. To advance UK Israel development cooperation, counter attempts to delegitimize Israel in international institutions at Patel 4 Whitam, at Gilead Erdogan 1 September 7, 2017. Labour Shadow Cabinet Office Minister John Trickett, who has already written to the Prime Minister demanding an investigation, called on Mrs. May to explain explain how Ms Patel can remain in her job following the new revelations. Ms Patel, the International Development Secretary, has already been forced to apologize for about 12 undisclosed meetings held during a family holiday in the country in August. Among those she met were politicians, businesses and charities and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. When conducting official government work overseas, ministers are supposed to inform the Foreign Office but Ms Patel has admitted she gave no advance notice of her trip. Image Theresa May is under increasing pressure to sack Pretty Patel. Ms Patel, currently in Africa with International Trade Secretary Liam Fox, was given a reprimand by the Prime Minister on Monday over the meetings in Israel. But before the last two meetings were revealed, Downing Street had backed Ms Patel, saying that Mrs May still had confidence in her. Westminster scandal A growing problem for May Labour's shadow cabinet office minister John Trickett said there were strong grounds to believe Ms Patel had broken the ministerial code requirements for openness, collective responsibility, honesty and performing duties allocated only by the PM. The situation is the latest in a growing list of problems for Mrs May. Image Ms Zahiria Atcliffe's family fear Boris Johnson's statement could harm her case Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is facing calls to stand down after saying that Nazanin Zahiria Atcliffe was teaching people journalism while in Iran. Charity worker Mrs Zahiria Atcliffe has been jailed in Iran since April last year and Mr Johnson's remark could add years to her sentence. Her husband and her employers insist Mrs Zahiria Atcliffe was in Iran on holiday with her young daughter. Last week, Defense Secretary Sir Michael Fallon resigned after allegations of inappropriate behavior and First Secretary of State Damien Green has denied claims by a former police chief that pornographic material was found on one of his parliamentary computers.